before buying this bike, uh, this particular bike, KTM Duke 390 2024, uh, there were a lot of bikes on my mind uh, before buying it. Uh, at first, uh, there was uh, the Interceptor, Royal Enfield Interceptor 650. That was actually my favorite bike. I was uh, I was very close to buying it because um, because I have booked uh, at the first uh, the bike for like something 10,000 and later uh, most of my friends and most of my colleagues most of my family members said uh, uh, it is an outdated bike they haven't made a lot of changes uh, this year they I know they have changed a lot they have brought a tubeless tire some other ch changes and all uh, USB charging slot as well but then it's not a it's not a sig significant changes or big change on the bike uh, engine specs are uh, are, the, are the same uh, but then uh, being a 650 bike there are a lot of issues maintenance are very high there, there's no proper mileage on it uh, so later on i thought of getting an adventure 390 uh, ktm uh, not the uh, the standard or the spoked version i was uh, pl i was planning to get the x uh, which is the which is something you call as a base version uh, which which is cost, uh, costing me around something 3.7 lakhs uh, and i was thinking of getting one uh, later my family member said uh, my bro brother in law he is already is having the adventure 390 the full standard version uh, they said me not to get that okay fine uh, let me just cut that thing off later uh, I thought of getting the Java 42 bobber also For, uh, 42 bobber is something I'll be getting that bike soon as my secondary bike because I really wanted to have one bobber bike on my garage and uh, that uh, that actually is a really neat bike neat bobber bike but my mom is like Yan where will I sit in that bike because it's a single seated bike and that is when i've cancelled that bike as well later on i was planning to get the r3 r3 when uh, uh, when there was a news of uh, r3 coming to indian market i was very much interested of getting that bike uh, but sadly uh, uh, that bike is not yet released uh, even in december it's uh, it's about uh, they are planning to get released on december 15th or so and if you are thinking of uh, getting launched uh, that bike on December 15th, maybe on the month of January 2024, uh, I'm, I might get the bike on my hands. But then it will, it is, uh, it's a bit late. Though I don't know uh, the first lot of the bike how it is. And uh, is, as as that bike is a twin par uh, parallel twin engine, uh, still I really wanted to have that because um, my first impression was to get the sports bike. Uh, uh, the main intention was to get the sports bike or something like a naked or a modern cruiser bike, uh, cruising bike. Uh, but then it uh, it takes a it took a long time for me to get the bike, so I've cancelled it. Uh, RC 390 and RR310 is not uh, my type of bike. RC 390 is very awkward, guys. Uh, I personally I didn't felt uh, that great that bike. And so later on when I saw this bike. Uh, which was launched in September. I quickly b bought this bike, uh, made up my mind because uh, Duke 390 is the fastest bike in the market in the single cylinder, and that is when I've got this bike. Uh, you may also say that why didn't you uh, bought the Himalayan 450? Himalayan 450 for me right now, my preferences is like either a uh, naked or a sports bike or uh, i mean like either a naked bike or a uh, what do you fully fed sports bike uh, right now i'm not at all interested in to get a adventure or a long touring bike because it's it's a it's, i know it's a it's a, a big bike you can uh, take the bike anywhere but then uh, when will you ride these bikes when will you ride those sports bike uh, this is the right age for me to ride, uh, to understand how the how these bikes are or the sports bike after uh, crossing 30 or 28 uh, something like that you cannot um, ride this bike because being a six foot guy it is really hard to ride those sports bike or naked bike so right now there's no plan of getting those uh, adventures bike and that is why i've cancelled the 450 i know 450 is really good bike uh, they, uh, they have uh, launched it at a very aggressive price 2.6 or 2.7 lakh uh, x showroom uh, it's a really good price but then i really uh, wanted to have a naked or a sports bike and that is why i've got this so that is the reason why I've got the Duke 390. 
so that's all for today's video guys i hope you like it make sure to subscribe to my channel hit the like button do comment down if you have any any queries and i see you in my next video until then bye bye